I'm Jess and welcome to my course Learn Excel on Mac. My goal today is that by the end of the course you will become a master in pivot tables. I'm sure you have heard of a pivot table, have seen one, and you know that it's a nice way to summarize the rows and rows and rows of data that we all have and turning it into a cohesive table that is easy to view and analyze. But does the thought of creating one from scratch scare you a bit? If so, you're in the right place. Come with me and I'll show you how you can do that in just a few simple steps. The first thing you want to do is find your raw data. In this case, I have a hypothetical 2021 invoices that I have created for this demonstration. So if you're a business owner, for example, you're probably keeping track of all the purchases that were made for the year. It can include items like which month and day the item was purchased, what the customer bought, for how much, and who the customers were. A pivot way is a nice way to view all of this in, in a table that you can analyze later. Some of the questions you may have include which of the year is my best month? Or out of the inventory I have, which item did I sell the most or the least? And also you can see who are my best customers so that I can make sure I keep them happy and they keep coming back to me. So let's answer all of those questions with a pivot table. What you want to do is click anywhere on your raw data what you want to do next is go on your keyboard, hit Command A, and this will select the entire table. Next, go up to the left, click Insert, Pivot Table, and then it'll say Select Table, which is that one that you just selected, and place it in a brand new worksheet. Click OK. So now you should be on a brand new worksheet. I'm going to zoom this in so we can see better. And on the right hand side, you'll notice a section called pivot table fields. And under the field name, this should look all familiar. These are all the columns that you had in your raw data. Things like month, day, item purchased, price, and customer. So let's start answering our questions. The first question we had may be, when was my best month of the year? And by best, I mean which month brought in the most dollars in this case. So what we are going to do is look at price because this was the dollar amount column that we had in the raw data. You want to select it, click on your mouse, hold and drag all the way down here to values. As you can see here, it'll say that for that table, which is all the 2021 invoices, um, you have brought in $2,205. Again, the first the question that we wanted to answer was, which was my best month? So let's go find the month field name. Same thing, we're gonna select, click, and hold, and drag. And this time, we're going to put it into the row section. And here we are. As you can see, February was the best month, bringing in $600 out of the 2,205. So that's the first question. The second question you may have is, which of the items I'm selling are my best selling or worst selling? What we can do for now is unselect the month and look into the item purchase. So what we want to do is go back to the pivot table fields uncheck the month name we're going to find item purchased and then drag it down two rows and as you can see here table was the one that brought in two thousand dollars a majority of the 2021 coming in and the third question that we may have was who are my best customers so similarly to the first two that we had. For now, we're going to unselect item purchased and we just want to focus on the customer. So find a customer field name and then drag it down here to rows. And here we are showing that Kiran brought in $620. 
So those are the three questions that I had asked earlier, answered with this simple pivot table. What if now you want to see a combination of things? What if you want to see which of my customers are repeat customers or the ones that have bought multiple things from me? Well, we can we have the field names, so what we have to do is combine the fields that we're interested in into this one pivot table. We already have the customer on the left hand side on the rows. What we can do now is find the item purchase field name and then move it down here, not to rows, but to the column section. And here we can see that current again had purchased multiple things. Out of the $620, they had purchased chair, coffee, and a table. Similarly with Amelia, who had bought coffee and a table. So I have one more thing to show you. You may have noticed that on the right hand side, there are four boxes. We've gone over the values, the rows, and the columns. But what is this one here called filters? Well, sometimes you may need to exclude certain things in your analysis. For example, you may be curious about seasonality, as in how did you perform between April to December, which means you have to exclude January, February, and March from your analysis. So let's do that. We're going to take the month field name. We're going to drag it here to filters. We're going to go up here where you're going to see a down arrow. You can click on it. And this is where you can unselect February and March from the data. As you can see here, the picture has changed. Before we had an entire year worth of data and now we're only looking at April to December. You also may have noticed that the down arrows are also here on row labels and column labels. So similarly, you can choose what you're trying to view and how you're limiting the data set. For example, if you want to exclude Amelia from this analysis, you can click on the row labels and unselect Amelia. I'm gonna choose her back. Or if you want to see how did your sales do without your best selling item, which was the table, you can click on the button here and unselect table. And there you have it, a pivot table in just a few simple steps, a way to gather all this raw data that we have, lots and lots of them, and putting it into a nice table that we can then view analyze and get a better understanding of. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And also, what do you use pivot tables for? Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.